I have fond memories of growing up, being the oldest of five siblings living at the house. My father would play jazz, and I learned so much about music. So many things that are so valuable to me that have enriched my life, uh, I owe to my parents. In 2012, James Baral created the Baral Family Scholarship to honor his parents, Raymond and Shirley Baral. It was the UC Davis Philosophy Department's first endowed fund. I have gotten to know the current recipient, uh, Myrna Champ, uh, who is a senior there now, uh, who's an incredible person, is married, has two children, commutes from Berkeley, where her husband is at the law school at, at Berkeley, takes the train to Davis, walks from the train station to UC Davis to study philosophy, studies for the, for the LSATs. She's planning to go to law school on the train back, then goes home and takes care of her children and does that five days a week and has been doing it for years. Uh, an amazing and inspirational person. For me, it's an honor in my family and a, cha a chance for me to, uh, to mentor and to give back in the same way that so many people have done for me at UC Davis, at UCLA, at Irvin Cohen and Jessup, at uh, Latham and Watkins. Baral is currently a partner in the Los Angeles office of Latham and Watkins. He's the global co-chair of the law firm's benefits and compensation practice. He says he owes his success to the UC system. Baral earned his undergraduate degree at UC Davis and went to law school at UCLA. I think what the UCs do is very, very important. I think the fact that we've uh, lost state support for the UCs, UCLA, UC Davis, all the other UCs, means that the alumni of those institutions need to give back, uh, need to do for them, for the students there, what was done for us. Uh, the tuition, I, when I went to school, was what, $500 a year, all complete, all the fees, everything. And there are a huge number of students that want to go to UCs, and UC Davis is a popular destination. It offers opportunity. It offers opportunity to go there to learn, and then to take the next step to go somewhere else. For Baral, building a strong future is his passion. It's what he tells his kids, his colleagues, and those he mentors. It is what drives his work. And I used to call it building futures. We all need, and I tell my, my colleagues, my youngest associates, my partners, we all need to build our futures. We need to build them for ourselves, for our families, for our community, for our firm. Uh, building a future, uh, working hard at it, you know, we're going to pass, pass through this earth and we're going to, we're going to build a life and, and leave a legacy. And, and the question is, what, what, you know, what have we done? Have we made the world a better place a little bit? Hopefully. Mm -hmm.